Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Rudin and today we're making a cake from a game that everyone in our family has been playing. It's a Slither.io cake or Slitherio or whatever you want to call it. I've had lots of requests for this so we'll make the cake and then I'll play a game for you at the end. Firstly, you'll need one and a half times of my light fluffy sponge cake recipe. And I have a video already on my channel showing how to make this cake. And I'll put all the details on the howtocookthat.net blog post for this week. And I'll link you to that below. Once you've whipped the egg whites, you just mix together all the other ingredients. It's really easy. And then you fold the egg whites through to make it nice and airy and a fluffy cake. Pour that into two trays and bake it in the oven until they're golden brown and beautiful and then leave them to cool. Mix up some vanilla buttercream with some white chocolate ganache and again I've got videos on frostings and how to make them all and I'll put that on the recipe post too. Wash, hull and slice your strawberries into quarters and then whip your cream to firm peaks but don't over whip it or it'll separate out you'll be making butter which is not what we want. Level the top of your cakes. I like to use the side of the tin as a guide so I get it really flat. And then place a little frosting on a cake board. I just made this board out of some thick cardboard and then wrapped it in our foil. Turn it upside down and put it on top of the cake. And then flip the cake over to tip it out of the tin. Take off the tin and peel back the baking paper. Pipe a line of frosting all the way around the edge and this just stops the filling from spilling out. Now add some cream into the center, be generous with that and spread it out to the edges and then add your strawberries and I like to be generous with all the fruit in my cakes. Then place your second cake on top. Now if you put it onto a flat tray with some baking paper then you can just pull back the baking paper under the tray as you slide off the cake and that just makes it easy to line it up perfectly with the base. Cover the top with frosting and cover the sides and then place that in the fridge to chill. Roll out some dark grey fondant and cut out hexagons. Lots of hexagons. So you could do this by hand, but if you can get hold of a cutter, it's going to make your life so much easier. Peel back the scraps from in between so that then you can re-roll that to make more hexagons. Now using a paintbrush and a little bit of watered down black gel food colour, just paint one corner of each hexagon. When you play the game next, have a look at it and you'll see that they're shaded on one side. Roll out your black fondant into a nice big piece and place it over the top of the cake. And when you're covering a large flat cake like this, I find a silicon fondant mat is really helpful. Once it's on the cake, just flatten it down onto the sides and then peel off the mat carefully so that it is off the cake. Then squeeze the corners together. Tuck the excess under so that you can see where the bottom edge is of the board and then just use your knife to cut off the excess fondant all the way along. When you get to the corner, again, just give it another squeeze to make sure the corners are joined together, that the fondant is fused there and then trim it off with scissors. Then for each one, just gently rub it to smooth off the corner. Print out the template that I'll put on the website and rub oil on it so that the paper doesn't stick to the fondant and place it on top of the cake at a 45 degree angle with the base and add hexagons with the shaded side pointing down into each space, adding them all the way along, making sure that shading is facing the same way on all of them. Once you've got them there, you can then gently slide the paper out and push the fondant down firmly onto the cake. Continue to add more hexagons in the same way and any that are on the edge that are half over the edge you'll need to cut them so that they sit neatly along there. Now on the top all you need to do is add some candy snakes and some M&Ms for dots and a pile of them for mass and you can arrange them however you like of course. And if you want a giant snake on top you can make this giant gummy one and I'll link you to the DIY video for making that below. Yum, look at those strawberries inside. Okay, let's play. Choose your name, Ridden for me, and then when you're little, you need to collect dots or you can't boost and you need to be able to boost. Dots make you grow a little bit, but maths makes you grow a lot, so we need to find some other snakes. If you hit another snake, you'll die, but if another snake dies, they leave behind mass and that makes you grow fast. 
If you can't find other snakes, you can head towards the middle and you can see where you are in the map in the bottom corner. Okay, let's see if we can get some mass. There's one pink dot. Ah, he bumped into me, awesome. Let's eat all that mass before everyone else does. That was great, because he was a big snake. He got some of it. I'll pick up all the scraps back there. Now these little pink ones are bots. They're not actual people, so they're just gonna crash into me. There's another one. Ah, someone else just popped quick. Let's get some boost, boost across it, not up it, so that we don't bump into anyone. And now that I know it's safe, let's clean up the rest of that. I need some of these snakes to vacuum my floor for me at home. Everyone's so keen to scoop it up when there's snakes on a game. More mass, let's get that. Ah, this guy's trying to get me out. No, you don't. Let's try and loop him. Mm, nope, he knows what he's doing. Okay, I'm gonna speed the game up for you now. Let's put it in fast forward. venomous snakes 5 out of 10 are found in Australia so I should be able to win this game I've got you surrounded now put the hands up
two on the leaderboard and 26,000. I can't believe he got me out like that. What's your best score? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to How to Cook That for more cakes, chocolates and desserts. Click here for the recipe, here for the giant gummy snake and here for my channel and I'll put all those links in the description below as well. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.